Hey everyone, it's Brennan from BC Labs, and today we are going to be testing out the remote desktop or remote display beta that's already installed on your Quest. Or at least it should already be in your app list. You may have to install it or update it to get it to the right version. So this, um, this application just uses the same client, the same meta remote desktop application for your PC that is used for workrooms. So as long as you've already ran workrooms and went through that process, you shouldn't have any issues. So let's get started with it. So this one's my PC over here. Oh, wow. So supposedly, you're supposed to be able to uh, have two displays. I don't believe so. Yep, yep. Someone gave me the impression that you could have multiple displays on here, which is just not true. Here, let's try. Really, this doesn't do anything that that workrooms didn't already do. If anything, it's on par with. Sorry. So really, this doesn't do anything that workrooms doesn't do. Uh, if anything, it does less. The only benefit is that it's technically built into your home environment. So it's or an application that runs like an Android app. You could run it like this. But I don't really know if that's that helpful. So you already can't resize it in this mode. I guess the only cool thing... Uh, is you can pull up a browser or another thing right up next to it. Which is cool, but you can't interact with it like a computer. So you still need a, a keyboard and mouse from the streaming computer or have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse on here to use with it. It, it just doesn't seem very purposeful. Next to Immersed or Workrooms, it feels like this needs a lot more functionality to be considered, um, I don't know, like that useful. It just, it just feels it's like a it's solution looking for a problem. I know it's kind of cliche to say that, but for real though, I mean, how often are you like, damn, I would really like to be using, I don't even know, there's not very many apps that even let you run in flat mode, the browser. So I'm, you know, I want to be on the browser, but I really wish I was also able to look at my PC screen, but I'm able to use this with my hands. I'm able to use this browser with my hands. I can't interact with this except for... Well, that was a weird... But anyway, I, I'd like, I can interact with this with my hand. I can play Plockle, whatever the hell this is. Plockle. I can't do anything with this other than move it from side to side. I can put Plockle on the, the other side. That's cool. But why? Is my question. Like... I think a lot of these applications really need to offer at least the opportunity to send touch commands, at least give me an option to touch this and interact with it and pull up a virtual keyboard. And they really need to let you resize these apps. I'm just disappointed with the state of some of these Android applications that are running in flat mode. And I've talked about this. It's not a, it's an ongoing issue for me. I think it's fairly short-sighted to say the least because I mean if you go to my unknown sources, I have things like InShot. You can run a video editor on here, but you can't resize it unless you go into this mode. And then if you go into this mode and you try to resize it, it doesn't. It just gives you a nice background. Pointless, right? So, but you can literally edit stuff on InShot from your headset. You can edit videos and you can edit pictures on your headset. But because Meta hasn't, well... In part, this could be an InShot issue because I pulled this app off of APK Pure, so maybe it's running the wrong um, the wrong device targeting for resolution. Because I know there's some some of that that can be built in now, but Meta's not giving the tools, or at least not emphasizing the access to the tools for these developers to port apps over. Like there are tons of apps like this. Where's my App Store? Right here. But like Collabor Office. This one was one where it works, but I have to put it in this, this mode right here, which makes it, you can't type. So, using something like Collabor Office, right? You'd like to be able to edit a, an Office document. You hit edit, like Google Docs. Great, right? Except, I want to be able to use this over here. 
and you can't. If you want to type, you have to do like Mr. Crab stuff. And if you want to be able to use this like an actual computer device, like a, for work, okay, you have to switch distance. And now you cannot have a full size app. You can't. Why? Why is this app? Why is the Meta browser able to be wide, but my Android apps are br brick shaped? Why can't they run in landscape? So you have to manually do this, and but at least here your virtual keyboard works in a way that makes sense but why can't I move it maybe I can probably not nope so there's just so many features that would make this be a better device I really hope I really hope meta puts more effort into the remote display beta because I think it has potential it's just not quite there yet so Fingers crossed. Anyway, if you like my content, I'd love it if you give it a like and a subscribe. I'll see you next time.